Hey everybody, it's Mark, Mark's Home Hobbies. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing alright. Ah, yeah, look what we got here. This here is a uh, barn find Mustang drift car. Yeah, it needs a little paint. It needs a little body work here and there. Yeah, it's kind of rough. Ah, but you know what? It's going to drift. Uh, yeah, you can see the back there. It needs a little work. Yeah, it needs a little work on the side over here, too. A little more better paint on there. She's got some primer. Needs the wing to be applied there. But check this balance out. Look at that. We got some pretty good balance going on there. I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Good enough to drift. We'll see. Uh, this car has never been run before, it's brand new. This is the second one that I had. The other one is, of course, the uh, Callaway Corvette. I was going to paint this car up a certain style there, as you can see. You can tell by the front and the sides and everything. The back. I was going to do a paint job on that. And after a while, I saw on somewhere uh, that somebody else had already done that paint job. So I thought, nope, I'm not going to do it. So yeah, we got a little sanding we got to do, and uh, I did drill this one out for the tail lights and for the uh, the headlights in the front too, uh, just so we can try to get that all going. And uh, here's what the bottom looks like. I ended up going with uh, a center mount right there because the body fits so good. I didn't want to wreck it by trying to glue in some body post mounts there, so I just opted for the screw in the uh, piece of plastic. And the front steering you can see there is, uh, I don't know if you can see it so good here, try to get you in the light. There's two little pads and it's like a half a circle going around a piece of plastic and that allows the uh, steering to, let me put this down, that allows the steering to move up and down like so. And then this little weight on here the car is on the ground, holds the steering down to the ground. These wheels don't really steer anything, it's all done right here with this unit. Um, but yeah, the chassis looks really nice and level on there, and the wheel spacing is alright on the back and the front, and uh, it's a little off here and there, but nothing real big. I mean, you're going to be able to drive it, and it's going to look pretty realistic when it goes around the track, and it's going to have a V8 in it. It's going to have a really cool paint job on it. Uh, matter of fact, I want to try several different paint jobs, and I don't know which one I'm going to go with. I just got hold of a little airbrush and some really fantastic looking paints. So, uh, we'll see. I, I'm kind of leaning towards the color shifting paint, if you know what I mean. Maybe a green into purple, something like that. Uh, I don't know maybe or just maybe how about a AC Cobra blue something like that uh, how about some racing stripes maybe we could do that I think so anything's possible with these little guys here so now that uh, we have completed second car we get her painted up and uh, hopefully by the end of next week I will have some videos of these cars running so uh, people driving and doing some things with them. It's taken me all this time to get this body out together. It's not easy doing this kind of stuff. Um, I feel you people are kind of lucky that I don't speak out and ask for money. Things like that. I don't advertise. If you see an ad on my channel, it's not because I'm getting anything. So I need to get to a thousand subscribers before I can make any money. So obviously I'm not going to get there very soon. So anyways, uh, on that cheery note, like and subscribe if you want to see more about this awesome barn find Mustang here, 2010 Mustang drift car. That's a fastback, baby. I'm going to make a wing for it, and it's going to look pretty slick when I'm done with it, let me tell you. Guys in Germany are going to be pretty jealous about this one. Maybe I got some of that watch, I don't know. They all like the uh, Mustangs. So, anyway, this was Mark with Mark's Home Hobby, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.